ladies and gentlemen, the Senate colleagues. Today marks the fourth anniversary of the Varnum decision. This is uh, an exciting day for Iowans who have sought and, and obtained the freedom to know who they love. This has made a difference in the lives of thousands of Iowans, and thousands of Iowans are now able to express their love and commitment in the same way that everyone else in their, in their community does. We're able to fully participate in the lives of our families, accept and, and love our children, and be part of a neighborhood and community. We live our lives while at the same time being able to offer the same legal protection and financial rights as those that, that uh, receive the, those rights uh, to, to traditional marriage. As the Iowa Supreme Court ruled on DOMA four years ago, the U.S. Supreme Court is examining DOMA and Proposition 8. I think all Iowans pray that the U.S. Supreme Court will share in the wisdom of the Iowa Supreme Court and embrace full equality for all. As we celebrate Brandon today, we're also marking the Governor's Prevention Summit. The summit has received attention recently, negative attention recently, by a uh, rogue group of, uh, of individuals that uh, promote lack of tolerance for others. And I think it's important today as a legislature that we mark this governor's conference and prevention summit for bullying and, and recognize it as a wonderful effort to celebrate diversity and support safe and free discriminatory schools where children can go and learn and participate fully in all the activities that the school has to offer. I uh, commend the governor for his leadership. I commend the governor for his courage to attach his name to this type of event. And I denounce those that would criticize uh, this effort to prevent and create a, um, a safe environment for our students to go to school. I would also like to say that I think as state leaders, and as the governor looks at uh, his responsibility to his employees in his own state, that he should work to recognize, and we all should work to recognize, that we have a responsibility as employees to create a safe environment in the state of Iowa, one that recognizes that uh, our workplace should be free of discrimination. Without, uh, without pointing to uh, an individual, I can say that there is doubt today uh, cast uh, in state government in light of the way this administration has worked with some of their own employees who are openly gay. And I think it is time for the state of Iowa and the governor to recognize that prevention and uh, anti-bullying should apply to state employees equally to try to work towards that goal is, is not only uh, a uh, positive and, and uh, a um, supportive effort, but also one that uh, we should all take seriously as a legislature and as leaders in the state that do employ thousands of Iowans. So uh, with that said, uh, I think today is a uh, great day. Uh, I encourage all to participate uh, that can make it out to the governor's conference today and send a very strong message that we are a state that uh, is welcoming of diversity and we want to create an environment that is free of discrimination. Thank you.